today I'm going to take you through building a cylinder head for the B18C4 engine. Here I have the cylinder head. Uh, one of the things I want to show you is taking out the old valve stem seals. So I have a tool to do that. And then placing in the new valve stem seals. Then I'm going to build up the uh, placing in of the valves. Then putting in the valve springs, the retainers as well. And uh, show you how to put in the lost motion assembly. I want to take you through the main tools that you're going to need to use to construct the cylinder head. First of all, you're going to want to be able to remove the old valve stem seals. This is a very nice tool. You can go ahead and use pliers, but you see this is curved and um, serrated, so it enables you to get on to the stem seal as so when it's installed, and then you can just pull it out. Then to install the stem seals, we have this tool here. And this is, comes as all part of the kit. So this, this tool for removing them and this tool for installing them as part of this kit and the red box at the back. It comes in all different sizes, but the one that you're going to be interested in for the Honda is the 5.5mm um, size. And what that will do is that will slip into the um, valve stem guide then you can place this stem seal over the top and it has a recess here which you can just about see that goes in there then you can put it in the valve stem guide and hit it a couple of times with a hammer and drive it home so it'll go in straight I'll show you that actually in action some other tools you'll need it's obviously the hammer um, some screwdrivers um, for the, to place the collets in or just, just nudge them in. It's really useful to take out the old collets, it's just a magnetic um, extendable um, tool so you can just pick them up and I'll show you that in use. And then finally, um, this is a 10mm Allen uh, bolt on, on, the, on a drive, uh, you can use this just for placing in um, the end caps, I'll show you that. Then to remove the uh, the valves and to place them back in, um, what you need to do is compress the springs. So um, here's the valve spring compressor. So I'll actually be able to compress the valve spring, put the retainers in, and then remove the lever back and uh, the, the valve spring um, collets, retainers, and valve will all be installed correctly. I'm going to zoom in now and just show you. On the left here, we have this is the new valve guides, and this is with the valve stem seals installed. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to remove the old valve stem seals. So I'm going to get this uh, tool here, come in like so. Clamp it down, and then uh, look just to work work that out. So you can have this kind of back and forward motion. And it will just ease out. There we go, it's out. <laughs> that was a bit of a struggle, but it's much better than using pliers, trust me. We have many different options when it comes to valve stem seals for the Honda uh, B18 engine. So at the top we have uh, the Skunk 2 uh, Viton valve stem seals. These are kind of orange in colour. Then we have the Supertech, which are brown for the inlet and blue for the exhaust. And then we have the Honda OEM, which have a silver band at the top for the inlet and a black band for the exhaust. So it's really um, the user's preference. For this uh, build, I'm going to use the Honda OEM. But just to let you know, there's a, a variety of different um, valve stem seals out there. Right, just want to let you know that some could be tougher than others, at which point I'm putting it on the floor, foot on the uh, head, and then same, same tool. And the best thing to do... I've found is you get a little rotating motion going on and they come just straight off, it's easy as that. 
as long as you rotate it and pull at the same time, you don't have to even hold it too hard, it will just come straight off. First of all, you want to lay out everything you're going to need to use to, for the reinstall of the valves. I have the stock valve seats, uh, all the valves laid out in order. So this is the intake side and this is the exhaust side. And then we have this large intake valves and the small intake valves in front of them. We have the stem seals. So as I said before, the silver headed uh, stem seals for the intake and the black headed ones for the exhaust. I have my tools laid out at the back and I've made sure my whole um, single head is clean. The words to the wise, make sure you put in all your valve seats ahead of putting the stem seals in. Um, these just simply go like this and just fall in place. That's it, they all just slip in place. Now comes the installation of the exhaust valve stems because that's on the exhaust side. You see it has a black uh, ring sitting at the top and uh, you notice the part number here uh, 12211 PZ1 004 it's for exhaust then I grab my tool so I can just simply pop this over the top of here and you see it's got a recess in the base just put that right in then I can, because this is the shaft is the same width as the shaft for the um, a stem valve stem. I can just place this in here. Should be quite a snug fit. Then I can just lightly tap into position the valve stem seal. You hear the sound changes when it's fully home, and that is it. And just repeat for all 16 valves. Then goes to the uh, inlet. So here I have the um, inlet valve, and you'll see it has a silver ring at the top. It's a Honda part number 12210-PZ1-004, and it's really exactly the same process. Just um, grab the tool, grab the intake valve stem seal, place it in there and just pop it in here in the valve stem guide and just grab your hammer hold it stable a few steps and you're in and then repeat the rest of the intake valve. This is just a quick view of the installed valve stem seal before I put the valves in, it's a great opportunity to show you some of the work I've had done on the cylinder head. One of the main points is getting the um, flow work done on the inlet ports and the exhaust ports. This is the inlet port, and you can see it's a very um, good flow job that I've had done. Uh, you can see the valve stem guides in the base here, um, and what this is going to do, uh, the flow job is going to basically improve the flow into the engine and then out of the engine through the exhaust ports. Hopefully this will improve my volumetric efficiency. Step one is just to place all the valves in their respective guides. Um, this is a real simple matter, just picking up um, the exhaust valve in this case, placing it in the, in the guide, sliding in. And here the new stem seal should uh, hold it in place and you just repeat that for all of the valves. I've rotated the cylinder over so the inlet's facing up. What I hope you've done during the disassembly of your engine is label everything up when you've done it. So here's the cam end um, inlet one. So this is the both valve springs, uh, the small and the large inside each other, the retainer, and then these two uh, collets you can see in the bag here as well. So that's the best thing to do, or you can have trays as well, but I like to put everything in sealed bags and then we can begin the assembly process. I'm going to place the valve springs and the keeper over the stem. And then I'm gonna use the tool to compress this down 
which will enable me to get my two um, retainers in there to stop the um, keeper from springing up. This is a valve spring compressor for overhead valves. You can see it's got two different distinct parts to it. This, which is for the um, end where you have the stem, so you can have the um, stem moving through this, and this is for the side which is the, the valve head. So it has these two lever arms, the lever it back and forth, and what you'll need to do is place this squarely on the valve for the spring you're trying to compress. So put that lever down, and then the next one you want to do is place it over the valve keeper for the valve spring you want to compress. And just pull this lever down and check if things nice and square on there. If I show you this, you'll be able to see that's the setup I have. Then I'm ready to put the comments in. I could lie to you and say that getting these retainers in is easy, but it's not, and it's a bit fiddly and painful sometimes. But once you've got one in below, one in above, all you can do is hold everything still and then let go of the uh, valve spring compressor tool. You bring both the handles out and then you're away. And then you can just um, check that everything is all good, which it is, and then you're good to go to the next one. And then you just repeat that for all 16 valves. The lost motion assembly can be installed without any tools, just simply place a little bit of engine assembly lube on there like so. You can smooth it in. Then just place it in the relevant hole. That should just slide into place. Then you just repeat that for all of the other lost motion assemblies. There's uh, eight in total. Then we have the installation of the rocker arm assemblies. I have them all laid out here. So this is the exhaust and this is the inlet. You see the two holes where the shafts go in. This is as it was, taken off the engine. So it's exhaust, for example. One thing you have to be careful of is this is um, these little um, cinders come out. That's indeed how um, the VTEC is activated. But you need to make sure that you keep everything um, as it was when it came out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you sliding it all into place and how it should look. I've installed all of the eight lost motion assemblies. We need to install the rocker arm assemblies. What you'll notice is you have a hole which needs to line up to the um, this oil jet here um, so just make sure that the hole is uh, facing up then all we're going to do is slide it in and then we will grab the rocker arms themselves they come in batches of three so these are the normal um, rocker arms and then your middle one is your uh, VTEC rocker arm. And what I'm going to do is just start with the first one, slide that on, and you'll notice with the VTEC and the second rocker arm, it has a little um, retainer there, so that means it can only move in, in that much. Um, so I want to just put them in together and then just slide in the rod and then I go to my next rocker arm and so on. And I need to repeat that for the exhaust for all of the rocker arms and then over to the inlet. I've started to install the inlet rocker arm rod and then I've got the two uh, first uh, rocker arms for the inlet. What you notice is the, there's a retainer here, so that needs to fit inside here, like so. And then you begin to install uh, the rod, and then I get my last rocker arm. 
and so on. So let's carry on straight the way through. The important point to make is those rocket arm rods that slide within have a hole in the end of them. Uh, you need to make sure that this uh, point here and this point here uh, for the exhaust and the inlet that the, um, the hole is lined up so you can place in uh, this which carries oil to the cam lobes. Final point is that you need to put in these bolts and these stop anything getting into the rocker arm assemblies. So you have one on the exhaust and one, two on the inlet. So you can simply just use a 10mm um, Allen key and then just, uh, just screw them in. And they don't need to be incredibly tight, just tight enough so that you can make sure there's a good enough seal. And then just one on the back, on the inlet side. And once they're screwed in, just tighten them up.